what changed at half time, what changed in the second half until about that period? I think only details. And I think the most important was that we, in decisive moments, first half, and we lost the, the duels and our in decision making uh, in the half spaces we were not quick enough thinking and well, we encourage the team in half time that you have to win those, those duels because it will be decisive the moment you win those duels especially if you can then make a change to the far side half space and then you have greater overload on the back line and you will create and first half already was this the case so we didn't take advantage from it but second half we did and and yeah um, we needed a moment in the game and to, to punish a mistake of Liverpool, but that caught us back in the game. Um, Eric, could you just talk us through the performances of Cam Kambuala and also Kobe Mainu with his, with his goal? We're used to him playing well now, but that goal was excellent. But you put a young lad right in the middle of your defence. Yeah, for, first to that goal was a very good team goal. It was actually also a goal from out of the game plan. So very proud that the team could transfer this in the way we did eh, to to get the ball into the far side half space and then get the switch and then that finish eh, was brilliant. I think everyone has seen. And then yeah, the decision if um, all soldiers die and then new has to come in and really already long time is training with us. He also started the game against West Ham United, where he did also very good. But yeah, his progress is uh, amazing, I would say, during training. And yeah, we didn't have any doubts. We could also have chosen, for instance, bring Casemiro down and bring another midfield in. But we were convinced he could do the job. And yeah, he has done brilliant. So we are very happy, pleased with his performance. And this is another signal and a message for the future. For Manchester United, uh, that uh, this team had uh, a squad, a high potential, and if we get more um, players available, and especially in the back line, uh, where we have, I think, 27 different organisations across the uh, cross during the season, in the course of the season, and then uh, the future will be very good. How, sorry, how are Varane and Evans? Pardon? How are Varane and Evans? I don't think on at the short notice they will return. Richard. Hi Eric, um, just can you explain the decisions take off Alejandro Garnacho for Sofia Nogobat? To explain. Uh, f first, um, today uh, Alejandro wasn't his game. I, um, he wasn't that, I would say, that fresh as he can usually be, where he had some, where he also had, always had some decisive moments in games. Hey, he was tired, uh, absolutely. And then we are winning in that moment in the game. We had problems. Uh, they went more offensive. They subbed in that period. And uh, to to bring more control in the center of the midfield, bringing the Suf, Sufjan Amrabat. Carl, this is another game against Liverpool with a lot of transitions. Is the idea when everyone is back, everyone is fit, Better at these transitions, or is there ever an intention to change and move to a different style? <laughs> it's no. It's clear when you play Chelsea, when you play Liverpool, <laughs> that will be a transition game, and because they are top in it, and both teams, and both teams also want to play, and they leave space uh, for counters, and um, I thought. Uh, yeah, there were the absolutely rare moments where we could have done better reactions in the transitions, defense transitions. But uh, in general, uh, we did very good. Um, we conceded only goals uh, from two set plays. And in our transition, uh, uh, yeah, we could have done ev uh, even better. Uh, for instance, there's Canaccio uh, with Bruno. Uh, so I don't know if the pass had to come earlier or the timing from the run was too quick. And then already after a couple of minutes, we should have taken the lead. When you say better reactions on the defence transition, is that to your shape or is that to win the ball back? Is there anything particular that you're looking to improve? Oh, I, look always for, I look always for better rest defence. 
There's one one point. Second, uh, are the decisions on the ball better? Uh, go for goal, be directly f uh, for making a goal or keeping the ball. Uh, otherwise, um, you stretch the pitch, and then it's about uh, once we lose the ball, <laughs> looking for the reactions and yeah, the behavior of the players. Uh, in what positions do they take? Uh, last question, James. Eric, that's uh, three games on the run now where you've given up the lead late on in the game. Um, what do you think the reason is for this? Is it concentration, bad decision making? First of all, it's uh, very disappointing when you put yourself three times in a week uh, in a winning position uh, just before the end of the game. Um, but then, yeah, drop points is very disappointed, and uh, of course, uh, we are all have seen. And yeah, there are some also some poor decisions. Uh, I would say all the three games were poor decisions, and not every time the same player. But we have to step up. But what definitely was not was not helping is that we already we have 27 different shapes in the backline. So there are simply not the routines are there, and yeah, but. Still, yeah, we have to improve and we have to get this in. Um, uh, and the sooner the better. Okay, thank you very much.